myself with the legend of one new rack mounted OB <laughs> intercom boxes, the one, very, the one and only Chris Thorpe. Hi Chris. Hi Simon. Um, uh, and I was just saying in our preamble that you and I go back to when you invented a time code logging system on a Scion 2 calculator if I remember and right. I, and I think you were my first customer. Heavens above. Um, and that was probably pre-internet, or very close to pre-internet. It was. Um, it, was, it was in the old days where the modems would go at you. Exactly. Yeah, those yeah. days. Wow. Um, I don't even know how I would have found out about that. Probably as IBC <laughs> 1792 or something. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. Um, I mean, the fascinating thing that, I've, that comes out of that is that you're a guy who has a reputation for designing essentially analogue boxes with big fat copper wires that connected them to do all sorts of clever things to do with audio and communications. And now it's all happening in a digital domain. It is, and it's, made, it's, it's getting more and more difficult to design it, to be honest. It gets very, very complicated. And now, of course, everything's software driven as well. Um, it's, it's a lot of pieces to put together to manufacture a product these days. And there was a phrase that you just said to me about, I'm no longer designing tracks on boards for audio. Uh, yeah, when you're dealing with Dante and when you've got net, your network at one gig, the circuit board traces aren't carrying electricity anymore, they're carrying RF, they're waveguides. So the design rules are completely different. Um, which, and, and there was a figure that you just quoted me about, it takes a couple of days to design the board and then... And then, and then it could take you a day or two just to just to place some tracks to get them exactly right. And if they're not exactly right, the product doesn't work. Extraordinary. And are there software simulators that will tell you that it's going to work or it's not going to work? <laughs> no, not really. Um, not, at, not at my budget level anyway. Wow, <laughs> amazing. So since we have gone from copper tracks with audio on to Dante, um, you've got a new Dante box. Yes, we do. I mean, it's, it, it almost goes back to the old days. It's a four-wire box, but it's a four-wire box with a difference. It runs on Dante, has Dante redundancy built into it. It's all DSP controlled. It has analog to digital, digital analog converters. Essentially, it's still a four-wire box, but a very, very flexible four-wire box. Right. And the beauty of using something like Dante in networking is not just the that you need less cables to use it. Because if you have a couple of these, now you've got a talkback system. Everything's assignable. So you can use three or four of these. You could use something like our DIO88 for four wire inputs and outputs. And you've got a talkback system. And you don't have, it doesn't have to have a brain because the brain is Dante Controller, which tells everything how to work. And so you can just put all your cross points into Dante Controller. Yep. Um, that's, that's really clever. Uh, and then, if you disconnect Dante Controller, everything remembers what it's talking to and what it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so you can strip it all out, go to another location, bang it all back together again. And it'll do exactly the same thing. Which yeah. is the wonder of modern digital electronics. It is sense. indeed, as long as you've got a one gig route to knock you around. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so run me through some of what that does. Yeah, OK, so you have your, your usual mic and headphone inputs. But what we've done is we put any facilities into it that we think anybody is sensibly need. So somebody may have a mix they like set up, so we put individual cuts on the channel, so rather than altering the mix by turning it down and then turning it up again, they can just cut the channel. Every channel has an IFB input as well. Um, what we've done with this device is it has eight Dante uh, four-wire inputs, eight Dante four-wire outputs and eight Dante IFB inputs. But we've also mirrored the first four on the back as analog. So you can use the first four channels locally. In fact, if you don't connect it to a Dante network, you have, still have a four-way analog four-wire box. So you know we've really gone for flexibility on this. Um, so you can press the button to monitor the IFB that's incoming. So you've got a confidence on that. Usual, our usual talk key down to talk, up to latch, uh, and a little Vox light that comes on if any audio incoming at neg neg anything above neg 18. 
Um, we've got an all talk on it, so when you press the key, you can talk to all the channels, um, and that's programmable, so you can set it to any number of channels. So you can set it really exactly as you please. Uh, extremely flexible. It is very flexible, and as I say, the beauty is that it is a talkback system. Mm, mm. And a four wire yeah, box. Yeah, and I know you've got you've made other versions of a similar or similar versions of a. Yeah, we at the moment we have a, a six-way desktop unit, which has slightly less analog ins and outs simply because of um, rear panel space. Um, but essentially, it's six six of these channels. And in a world of one new boxes with pretty lights on, I, I have to say I think that your stuff at the moment, the the, the physical design is just gorgeous. Thank you. Um, one, one thing I've always been quite pleased with is having been a television sound supervisor for so many years, I, I try to keep up with what other people want, of course, but I think I've get, got the gist of it by now. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And business is booming? Business is booming, it's great. We've got a distributor in the States now, and that's been very successful. So yeah, generally speaking, we're very happy. I'll be fascinated to see where your, yours and my journey goes in the next five or ten years um, now that we've gone so digital from <laughs> yes. our Scion to yeah. calculators. Oh, yeah, that's right. All, almost sadly, of course, it's all going to be IP, isn't it? <laughs> but there's, there's a lot of everything over IP at this show this there, year. There certainly is. Um, yeah. I, I can see more RJ45 jacks. That's the art, to get you to sell the RJ45 cables. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, Chris, okay, very much no, indeed. Thank you very much.